Hello, hey, this is Chris again, um, and I do tech reviews using my own words and name and terms of um, camera gadgets, digital accessories, or anything that makes my life easier as a parent of three young kids. For today, I just want to talk about the Sony ZV-1's feature called high frame rate. It is a it is a feature that only exists in, in the in this. Um, in the RX100 and the Sony ZV-1 lineup where you can go up to a 960 frames per second slow-mo so that's pretty cool so I'd like to do a quick test and see how it uh, fares so you access that um, that that HFR um, by going to mode and then you select uh, HFR, HFR high frame rate so it says high frame rate is a mode for slow motion shooting. Select a frame rate higher than the playback's frame rate to shoot slow mo, smooth slow mo movies. Select OK. Um, I usually select shutter priority, so that's OK. And then it says check exposure focus EDC. Press the center button. So if I show you the menu, so what I usually do is, uh, where is that menu? I think it's in the camera one setting. Okay, high frame rate, where are you? That's one thing about Sony's menu system. Pretty difficult to navigate. You need to remember where it is. Ah, there you go. That's actually camera number two settings. HFR settings, so select OK. So, I, I typically shoot at 25 frames per second. I think uh, that's because I'm on a PAL. I believe I'm on PAL, Asian, Asian country. So they, they usually have, um, have it at 25 frames per second. I think in the US, you have it as NTSC. So you shoot at 24 frames per second. So for me, it's 25. You can choose the frame rate here. So you can go from 250. 500 and a thousand all right and I'll, I'll do different tests using these different frame rates and see how it looks like right um, priority setting you set it as quality uh, I don't know what that means but I suppose it prioritizes the quality of the video versus the shoot time and then you have this record timing so it, it is a setting where it tells the camera what happens when to record when you press the shutter button so start trigger means I the moment I press start shutter I press the shutter it will start the recording now remember I forgot that the high frame rate is a feature to record up to if I'm not mistaken seven seconds of footage that's it so if I select start trigger, the moment I press the shutter speed, it will start recording for 7 seconds. Alright. If I do end trigger, it means that it would always buffer the the sequence of um, the sequence of, of the event. And by the time I hit the shutter button, it would then record the pass seven seconds so i think this is a more useful uh setting because for high frame rate shooting i don't really i can't really time the start of the sequence i but i can time the end of the sequence right uh, and then you will have end trigger half i don't know what it means i suppose it's a compromise between start and end so i suppose if you select this feature the moment you hit start Huh. It will start recording for half the time. I, I really don't know what it means. So but I don't really use that. I just use end trigger. So if I select this and then I select uh, 1000 frames per second. Uh, let's select 500. Right. And then um, go back to the video mode. I Let's say if I've I've already set the focus and everything. I press the center button. You can see that I have focus speaking on. 
and then I will need to start recording so I, I need some something to move so this is my hand moving and then I'll press the record so it will start recording the past seven seconds While it's doing that, uh, let me pause the video and find out what half and trigger means. All right, it's done. Um, I did have a chance to read up what half and trigger half means. That means that the moment I press the shutter button, it would start the video clip three and a half seconds before I press the shutter button and then another three and a half seconds after I press the shutter button right. so just review the clip all right let's go let's play oh look at how slow my hand wave is how long is this clip anyway oh, look at that oh I'm must be mistaken it is not 12 seconds it's not seven seconds sorry it's how long is this video for mm -hmm. 23 24 25 20 35 35 seconds all right so what happened is that um because I what is the frame rate I have chosen 500 frames per second it is 20 times slower so a 7 second times 20 is 140 seconds I don't know what's the math here 7 seconds of actual sequence translated into 35 seconds so five times longer all right you guys do the math uh, I'm, I'm just gonna show you uh, different clips of how slow you can get from 250 frames per second to 1000 frames per second enjoy <laughs> 